Welcome back to the channel Kings and Queens. This is King Tech HD and today we're going to go over some Anchor MagSafe chargers. Now I picked this one up, the white one. I picked this up December the 27th. It has been a great charger for me to have charging up on accessories. The magnets on this was just real strong on these. This one went for about 20 bucks with the cable or I should say with the cable and also with the adapter, the USB adapter that comes with it. Without the adapter, it was 18 bucks. With the adapter, it was 20 bucks. Great deal. This is 7.5 watts though. So it was slow charge, but still good because it had a phone battery safety, it had radiation shield, temperature control, and foreign object detection. So if it detects something's between the phone and the magnet, that's when it'll stop and, you know, not charge to make sure that you're getting that proper charge and you're not having any kind of problems. It does have five feet range of cord and you can use it while it's charging your device. I don't recommend that personally, but it does say in the description you could use it while you're charging it. Now, while I was about to review this and do a separate video just on this Anchor MagSafe charger, that's when I went on Amazon and I saw they had the Qi 2 version. So this is actually double the power. So you get 15 watts. For this one, you get 3 million times that it checks per day the temperature. So make sure it doesn't overheat. Still have your five foot worth of cord as well too. So all your safety measures is all taken care of, but 15 watts compared to 7.5 watts. So this gives you double the charge. One thing I do wanna say though, well, two things I wanna say about the one that gives you double charge. It did not come with an USB charger. So I already had this USB charger previously at home. Anchor makes great chargers. I had this already, but the problem is it's only a 20 watt charger. In order to get that full 15 watt charge on their new Qi 2 charger, MagSafe Go or Mag Go, they call it, you have to have at least a, I want to say 25 watt charger adapting brick. So mine that I have, I believe this is 20. So 20 would not get the 15 watts on the Maggo that you want. Unfortunately, it has to be at least 25. So I do have a 25 watt charging brick coming. That should be here tomorrow. So I can get the full 15 watts on this Maggo. So this is, is double or double fast charging that is charge your device twice as fast with this. It does have an aluminum metal build to it. So the build quality is amazing. This one had a good build quality as well too. Don't get me wrong, but it was more of a hard plastic, not a, you know, metal based aluminum charger. So this one feels great in the hand. It feels sturdy. Quality is there. I am going to keep this just gonna get the charging brick so I'll be able to have it and get that 15 watts charge that it comes out with. I would recommend getting this particular one on Amazon. If you go to Anchor's website, I believe they have pre-orders and pre-orders for this thing has started already, but deliveries are gonna be February 20th to the February 25th. That's <laughs> like more than a month away from us right now. So if you go to Amazon, you could probably get this today or tomorrow. So quicker, if you go to Amazon right now, I'll drop the link in the description instead of going to Anchor's website. And this one as well, Amazon still provides it. It's great charger. So a little cheaper for you. It's at 20 bucks will get you the charging brick and also the charger itself. So all included 20 bucks. This one just gets you the cord 21.99, so 22 bucks. And then if you wanted a 30 watt 
adapter. They normally go for about 15 to 20 bucks in that range. That is it. So I have my 12 Pro Max. I have my 12. These charge the AirPods 3. It also charges the AirPods Pro 1 and 2. So these are going to be great for that. The charges iPhone 12, 13, 14, and 15 series. You're good. You're taken care of. You want a good MagSafe charger? I would recommend picking up one of these. This would be great for overnight. You're just, you know, leaving it and forgetting it. This would be good if you need to go out, get you a quick 30 minute charge, I believe zero to 50 or so within 30 minutes if you have an iPhone 15. So this is going to be your go-to if you're trying to get that quick charge in a hurry and still use your device that same day. This one's going to be good if you're just leaving it overnight, set in and forget it. That's it. Thank you for watching the video. Take care, everybody. Peace.